Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Steve from GraphicDesignerTips.com. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step process on the proper way of setting up a Facebook fan page. Now, yes, Facebook fan pages have been around for a very long time, but the truth is, a lot of people just don't know how to set them up. And if you click this video up here, this is another video I just released, and it's about the 10 benefits of a Facebook fan page compared to a Facebook personal page. And without giving you too much of it, just a, a, a little bit of a teaser, basically what people do nowadays, which is the wrong thing to do, is they're setting up fan pages as personal pages, which eventually will get shut down from Facebook because it's against their terms of service. A personal page is for human beings. A business page is for a brand, a band, a cause, an organization, or a company. So let me get into this video, show you the step-by-step -step process on how to set this up. And by the end, you'll be uh, doing this in under two, three minutes. Okay, so this avenue is for people who do not have a Facebook profile at this time, um, but you are basically going to sign up for one as you sign up for your page. But if you go to the home page of Facebook on the bottom, I would say within the last year they put this up here. Uh, you used to have to find it a different way while you were logged in. But you can click create a page. And after you click create a page, you're going to see six different categories come up that your business or brand or whatever will fall within. So it's either going to be a local business or place, a company, organization, or institution, brand or product, artist, band, or public figure, entertainment, cause, or community. Now, your brand, you may think, may fall between, you know, um, two different categories, uh, but I believe the timelines or the fan pages uh, basically look the same. Uh, it's just, it's just, they just want to get certain criteria. So anyway, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to sign up for one of these and then I will delete it later on. But just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to sign up for a company organization. I'm going to choose a category. I'm just going to, the category is just going to be company for me. I'm going to put in my initials and I'm going to put technology co. All right. I'm going to agree to the Facebook page terms. And I'm going to hit get started. Okay, so now what it's saying is you must log in to go any further with this. So you can't just sign up with, uh, for a page without having a personal page. And so I'm just going to sign in with my credentials. I'm going to hit log in. And it's going to take me to this page. It says set up SML Technology Co. About. Now you can always, obviously, you don't have to get everything ironed out right now. But you have to put some stuff in here to continue forward. So I'm just going to write test description website I'm gonna put smltechco.com and then what's pretty cool about this is where it says choose a unique Facebook web address to make it easier for people to find your page once it is set it cannot be changed what's cool about this is the fact that you can give somebody you know facebook.com slash whatever and they'll be able to go directly to your page in years back and I don't know when they changed this, but you had to get to like 20 likes on your page before you could even do a personal uh, customization. But now apparently they're letting you do it all, all uh, in the beginning, which is is very beneficial because you don't want to make it hard for people to find your Facebook. You want to make it really re very easy. So um, right now I'm just going to hit save info Then it's going to ask for a profile picture. I'm just going to skip that for now. I'm going to skip adding to my favorites and reaching more people. They're really just looking for you to promote your page. It's going to cost a couple bucks. Skip that for now because you can do that all later. And now this is this is basically your fan page up here. There's obviously nothing going on in here. But um, another way to get to the fan page is say you're on your regular personal profile. What you can do is you can come up to the top right right here. And you can go to any one of these pretty much. But let's go to say account settings. And if you come down here to the bottom navigation, you're going to see where it says create a page. And voila, when we click that, we are right back where we started. Now, what's cool is um, you can administer a number of pages. I don't know what the max is, uh, probably dozens of them. But if you click here, you'll see the two pages that I manage, which is, uh, well, actually now three, SML Technology Co, Graphic Designer Tips, and SML Studio. So I'm going to delete that after this is over, but that is basically it. it's very simple and to get back to your pages if you're on your profile page right now what you can do is you can come up here and it says use Facebook as I'm gonna use it as graphic designer tips right now and it's gonna jump right into my fan page 
for my blog, graphicdesignertips.com. So very cool, very, very easy to set up. Like I said, two, three minutes. Here's the other video I spoke about earlier. You definitely want to check this out and see all the benefits that a Facebook fan page can have for your brand because once you set up a Facebook fan page, it's just another avenue to get traffic or or just you know awareness of, of what you do. So my name is Steve Looney. I'm the owner of graphicdesignertips.com. You can hit the subscribe button right here. I come out with videos every week, and I will see you guys next week. Comment below in the video. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you for the next video. Have a good night. Peace.